Our partners at Bet Online continue to be your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's Wimbledon Finals, Major League Baseball, all the latest fighting news, and this season's NFL. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today. Receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV to get the bonus and get into action. Bet online where the game's. Hello, hello, hello. It's Private Talk Podcast with Alexis Texas, and we are back season four. And today, Private Talk, we have the pleasure of having Lily Lou. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Private Talk. I'm excited to get to know you a little bit better. I'm I've been seeing excited. those luscious boobies of yours all over Instagram. I am. It's unfortunate you. that you just had an Instagram mishap. We it's apologize fine. That, that hopefully we're going to get it back really soon so you can get all those things. I'm sure. I did nothing wrong. I'm all, what did you do to get in the doghouse with Instagram? I, I don't know because they just said like, okay, this has been automatically like selected and now we're just reviewing. So did you get thing. to see what, what you were being under review for or did they automatically the, just the wipe standard, everything out? like, oh, it's for solicitation. It's mm. some kind of sexual thing. Well, we will like, not discriminate you here at Private Talk. We want to get to know yeah. the deep down dirty, all the versions of Miss Lily Lou. I'm ready. So introduce yourself to Private Talk, love. Hi, I'm Lily Lou. Um, I'm in the adult industry and have been for about like two years now. Uh, Live in the life. I'm very happy. Um, but yeah, yeah. find Ooh. me on all of my social medias. Living the official. life. So let us know what living the life means. Are you, did you just move to LA when mm-hmm. you started doing, you know, content creating in the adult industry? Did you always have dreams of being in, in behind or in front of the camera? Yes. Yes. So I've always had dreams of being in front of the camera. It's like ever since I watched porn for like the first time when I was like a preteen, basically, I was like, ooh, naked people at first. But then it's like, You're like ooh, ooh I naked like this. People. Can't wait to get home from school and masturbate. Like it's fantastic. And so I always thought that like I wanted to do that and I did. It's just the fact that I was very, my parents were very controlling. And so they would be like, oh, you whore. Like you're not allowed to have friends. You're not allowed to go out. It's like for high school, I just did entirely online. And with that, it's like, okay, if people scare the shit out of me, uh, what can I do that's kind of adjacent to that? And so, I mean, it, camming was popular and I was like, oh God, being live in front of people, that's almost worse than being in person. And so that was a no-go. But I saw this article that was, uh, you know, some lady sells her panties on Reddit. And I'm like, I could do that. I could just be purely customer service. Hello, sir. Do you want a panty? Oh, how many days would you like to like me You're like wear? a panty operator. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that was good. And uh, then so people that would where ask you me. So started? Yes, okay. eight years ago So how did Reddit. you, so you just went on Reddit and mm-hmm. you were just soliciting basically your panties. Yeah. And at that time, there wasn't any, like, photos of you doing any things? Or was there kind of more explicit things to kind of entice your customers? Yes. I mean, like, I knew that it would just be boring as hell if I'm like, oh, here's a, just a I mean, well, you're a sexy girl. And I feel like if you can work it and if you have even a customer service background or just Mm -hmm. even being a salesperson, it's about selling what your product is. And if your product is attached to you and you can Mm -hmm. speak really well and you're like, hey, here's my panties. I mean, I'm I'm inquiring. I mean, like, too, uh, like, when you first start out, there's, like, you don't have a horde of people being like, oh, yes, I'll buy all your panties You gotta get somebody to, like, you gotta get people being like, hey, this is the girl to buy the panties from. Yes. And so, way along the line, I I started doing, like, a vacuum sealing. I would pack it up like an Etsy package. Okay. Like, the little tissue paper, like, everything. But, so I started getting people, like, asking for photo sets, and it's like, okay, like, I don't have to talk. I can do a photo set yeah. and then it would be like little videos and it's like, tell me exactly what, what you want you me want. to do so I'm not, so I don't spit out some awkward shit or I do something weird and then it's going to be like, like, we're burying that for eternity. <laughs> like, no one can see my awkwardness. Um, and so with that, it just grew more and more doing like custom videos, treating the camera like a person and then all of a sudden it was like, okay, like I should push myself. I should push myself to do like collabs with girls. And uh, there was other girls on Reddit, and I did that for the first time, AVN 2020. Now, and did you do that to push your girls or push yourself on like collaborators? Whereas because it was something that you wanted to fuck these girls, you wanted to be like was, in that world, or is it only because of like a monetary situation, or was it just exciting? It was exciting. It was like pushing myself socially because it's like it. I did not have friends okay. for basically my whole damn life except for like kindergarten, and 
so it was like a like a social thing a sexual thing as well but it's like i knew i could make very good content it's like the first thing i bought was a gh4 and like lighting like little road mic all that stuff and so it's like i was excited like i get to create things and it's like all the girls were like excited too Mm -hmm. like they were the kind of people that were legitimately like i want to make good content i don't care if it's a pain in the ass i want to make it good and you don't always find that you know in the the mainstream side of things Mm -hmm. but it's a very cool experience and first time ever being at like a table with like you know more than one person there was like five other girls and it's like i know how to talk to everybody like seamlessly like we have a a common interest that i could just be like it's connection oh, yeah. yeah and that made me a lot more confident like hey like you know i can do this it's like people like me i can have friends and everything i so. love that i feel like yeah. in a sense from what you know what i'm gathering it's like it's kind of like kind of made you feel more comfortable in your own skin absolutely to allow you to be the woman that you were truly meant to be because i feel yeah. like you know we're all only the people that get in our way are in our way is our own selves so yeah. it's like you know like you said you're like oh i'm awkward i'm this whatever well i mm-hmm. i don't think you're awkward i don't think you're any of those things but i think that when you kind of don't know what path you're going and you kind of mm-hmm. work out the awkwardness and you're like oh wait okay now i found like my group of people i yeah. found my niche of things like now let's go on yeah and, like, like i feel throttle. like i got this shit yeah like kind of thing so and from that process being at that table feeling really comfortable with these group of mm-hmm. women who like allowing you to be the content creator that you want to be and kind of yeah. seeing the future like where did you what direction did you go in at that point well at that point i mean it kind of blew my mind that they were like oh my god i look up to you like your content's so good and i'm like wow like, are what? you like who me like uh, yeah it's I'm almost like, shocking Ugh. at first when you first get the first feedback because it's yeah. like you're doing it yourself Especially and you feel good in but person you don't know. from another content creator too yeah. that it's like i mean you're you fantastic yeah. like holy shit and it's like i never thought i was inspiring anybody mm. and i was just kind of on my own little alone path and like sometimes i would just like no, I would just like their stuff and they'd like my stuff and it was just kind of this like kind it's of like interacting flirting, not. but like not nah, but you're like I like it but I, yeah yeah, okay. yeah and so like with that I'm like okay like this is fucking cool and with that I knew that so there was another meetup right after that okay and it's like a couple months after but this meetup there was like 16 girls okay. and I was like okay if I can handle this I can go into mainstream, like, I can do what I really want to do, and it was fantastic, like, everybody loved me, like, this one girl that was, like, you know, like, pretty shy and awkward and stuff, and she was, like, you're so outgoing, like, you're such an extrovert, and, like, what? Like, who, me? Yeah, and it's, like, and, I don't know, I just had a conversation with her, and it's, like, I know exactly what you mean, like, it makes it feel like these people are, like, like, a separate type of people, and it's, Mm -hmm. like, I've worked so hard so many nights like just being awake at night being like oh god i said that awkward thing five years ago nobody laughed everyone was just silent just like looking (laughs) either away or at their phone or some shit i'm like um so it's like pushing yourself and do all those things i almost feel like it's like a like every interaction is like a social experiment to an extent it'd be like oh i said that thing that didn't go over well never saying that again in that context okay Uh, (laughs) For and sure. just working it all through it's like a lot of people it it comes a little bit more naturally to them mm. and it did not for me but i think that's i mean overall it's been helpful because i feel like i've become more skilled at it than people that would be like yeah i'm fine practice makes perfect yeah you know what i mean i think yeah. also too you saying like you come from a background maybe you didn't have a lot of friends you didn't have a lot of these things whatever no. but it's also with that thing said you didn't have a way to test out maybe your jokes or like how things land or how things like you you present yourself or whatever but i think it's all like a learning and growing lesson that i think that there's no wrong way to do things i Mm -hmm. think that it's just based off of like what works for you and then you kind of feel and you kind of see what the synergy is of like how you make that better yeah how you add on to those things that you know are doing these little like things and that's what i think is fascinating about this business is that you meet all kinds of different people all different kinds of walks of life Absolutely. and to find the synergy within every single person that we're all just alike we're mm-hmm. all just trying to make it we're all just trying to live our own authentic selves if it's sexuality or what yeah. we're bringing into like who we were wanting to be like i feel like it all kind of comes full circle and i feel like like for myself included which it seems for you too is that mm-hmm. the adult business kind of opened up those doors to being like wow like i was already this person but it's making me become her even more yeah no absolutely like i feel like i'm i'm like really living my life as like the self that i want to be so, so. for it's been yeah. two years which yeah. is 
probably seems an eternity to you, but it's not that long of a time. No. So I mean, I had to take like a year off due to like contract issues with my last agency. So I'm like, okay, I'm just now getting back into it in April. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, or and as far I as mean, what did you sign with somebody and they kind of inhibit like inhibit you to do other things, or yes. what happened? It was more of like a oh, you can't shoot content with these people. And, like, they were like, well, we're, like, working it out because, uh, you know, you make these connections because of us. I'm like, okay, cool, you want money? Mm. Stop stop fucking calling me every two weeks and bitching about it. Yeah. Because it's like, dude, I don't care. I just don't want drama. And it's like, if that takes money, take my money. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, it was, like, it was never, I don't even think was a legitimate issue. I think it was, like, an ego thing, like, that, Oh, this girl isn't doing are what they we like a Google. legitimate agency or is it something yep. that you're like okay <laughs> you, okay we're not name dropping here okay <laughs> when, so are you out of that contract now or yes. when are, when are you being able to went through okay. that uh that it was served then yeah i okay. was out with no money no nothing so, so you currently can shoot with whoever you want now yep okay so, so what direction to- are you pushing your like career into now like are I mean, you i kind of want to show everybody what a good performer i am because every time i'm on set and it's like it's not like a boring scene where it's like okay you're gonna have to tone it down today lily it's just gonna be like you're this shy girl or whatever and you're just getting fucked i'm like okay but if it's like i get to go fucking wild every time the director's like everybody on set's like you're like a fucking whirlwind jesus christ <laughs> and it's like you you're, you're doing good and so it's like at this point i just want to have everybody see that mm. and because i love that yeah so what would you say that you, you know that makes you unique about you that people are saying this repetitive thing about yes. you that's like oh girl I, like you i it. love sex so much like every part of like any person like a like a woman a man like anything like i'll lick your sweaty feet your ass like your balls so like you're everything. down for anything yes okay absolutely have you always been that type of girl have you yes, always weirdly. been like i've always been like weirdly pervy okay. like being a little kid i'd like to help my stuffed animals and okay. i was just yeah and then like seeing porn and stuff and be like ooh, there's like hentai oh my gosh she's getting like like fucked by tentacles and then it's like oh this nasty fat old man's fucking her i'm like that's hot <laughs> wide variety of different <laughs> fetishes okay okay i see what you're putting down yeah so who did you either maybe look up to or maybe kind of mm-hmm. look and kind of inspired maybe how you kind of doing your business now or I your mean, career it's like i haven't taken too much inspiration because it's like i heavily want to be my own person but, I mean, I did think that, uh, I mean, like, Adrian Chechik, great performer. Uh, I would, like, watch Sasha Gray, like, she's a great performer. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So, you like more of the fetishy kind of, like, thing, hardcore, just yes. really, like, take yeah. them down. I, it's like, I get, like, a, such an endorphin rush from it. And it's like, nobody, I, I feel like not a lot of people can channel just, like, just empty mind just be sex demon go the fuck at it okay. and it's like i i was uh I, I did this whole group shoot thing and there was like an orgy in it and all the girls you know it's like i everyone's a good performer but it's like at that moment and all of these girls that it's like more of a following than me like more traction than me they're like i want to be like you lily what and it's like how does that make you feel it makes me feel pretty fucking good i want to share the uh the whorishness with everybody yeah. would be like, let's do a scene together and yeah. then I'll push you to be the best. But nice. yeah, it's like, I, I love that collaborative effort. It's like, I'll do the same thing with dudes. I'll do the same thing with girls. It'd be like, just elevate it. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like you're in the right business for sure. I think I that, it. you know, one of those things for me is always, you know, I've seen, I've been in the business for quite some time and mm-hmm. seeing girls when they're new when they're in the middle of their career and things like that of like, who really likes it and who distinct, like how do you stick out within yeah. the crowd? Because there's everybody who's pretty. There's everybody that yeah. has the things, but there's certain things that kind of stick out above the rest of like, mm-hmm. and I feel like you can really tell, especially sometimes in group settings, you can see more of yeah. who really likes it and who doesn't yeah. or who's doing it for the paycheck or who's mm-hmm. doing it just for the glam of it or the like, you know, the, the notoriety yeah. of what that brings. Or even even you know you like it but like it's not like you are i don't know kinky or just like anything. well that's where like, it comes with like because it'd be like more vanilla like okay but there's like a million vanilla girls and i'm like i feel i feel privileged to be in the to all this shit i'm like i stand out yes <laughs> i stand out yes so who have you worked with so far that has stand out to you you get all these people mm-hmm. that are telling you oh yes. you're the standout star or whatever yeah. who have you kind of like 
blown you away that you're like, I could maybe take some things from this person. As far as girls, unfortunately, nobody. But uh, for guys, I would say Vince Carter, Chris Diamond, um, you know, like Jax is a solid performer as well. Vince kind of blew me away. It's like, I, I like them European guys. They're not scared to be like, oh, they some, this, they're down this and girl's, dirty. yeah, this girl's going to say something on Twitter. Uh, I can't be too rough. I'm like, I am asking you. I am pleading with you. I will sign any fucking thing sign, you want. Sign, seal, deliver. Yeah. And it's like, I'm, I'm very communicative during the scenes because like, I don't want a dude being like, oh, well, I hit her, but she didn't, didn't. say anything or whatever. Yeah, the and consent I'm like, aspect of it all. Yeah, exactly. And so it's like, I try <clears throat> to really make people feel comfortable. Is there anything that's off limits to you on set? I'd be like, poop. Okay. But like, you know, that's not legal to film anyway. Yeah. I mean, like, but as far as like anything and maybe like, I'd say like prolapsing because I don't want to be old and be like, poop out my whole butthole every but time. But isn't I, prolapsing something more that it's like a you issue, not something that someone's making you do? Because is it, it like because it's a cause because there's too much anal or too many things like that? I mean, there you can definitely make yourself prolapse like mm -hmm. by like pushing very hard. You could like open your butt and people like, ask push. for that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And it's had, like, I, I've been on set before. I'm never like, had oh, yeah, you prolapse. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to wreck my ass. That just doesn't <laughs> sound sexy to me. I don't know. It just yeah, seems... Yeah, I I'd agree it's with a, that. It's a little... It's like around, like, the health, like, kind of aspect of, like... I don't know. Is that good for you? I don't that's think so. Like, I really I don't. don't. <laughs> that's not safe. We like yeah. safety at all times. With, like, you know... Yeah, I feel the same thing with being, like choked enough where i like legit pass out like i feel like that's not good for your brain like i'll get have you i'll get to the edge of there? that yes and it was kind of not on set okay. but just in my in personal life yeah it was like with my ex and i was like "Ooh, i'm all like shaking like when i come to and i'm like i don't know if i like this i don't know if that's healthy there's no option to my brain help <laughs> yeah oh. describe something that's exciting in your life right now Ooh. um I don't know. It's like I have more friends than I ever have in my entire life and ever thought I ever would. Okay. Uh, people actually like like me and they're like, wow, Lily, like you're such like a like a good friend. Like you're so like, I, I mean, at the same time, you can't please everybody. And some people are like, well, Lily doesn't like me. I was like, that's because you don't hold yourself accountable to your actions. And I don't play with mean people. Um, okay. It's like, I'll be nice. But like, no, dude. But Okay, so it's the friends aspect. <laughs> so for you, I think like it's the validation yeah. of having friends and people like you in a sense yeah. where it's like that's not something that was familiar with you. Yeah, and that I it's think like they like me as like my base, like just human nature. Mm. That they're just like, and growing up, it'd be like, wow, you're a bitch, and like my mom would be like, you're a narcissist, and it's like, says the narcissist. <laughs> okay um. <laughs> so we have some mommy trauma over here oh a little dad, bit. okay it, everything mommy and daddy yeah mm -hmm. okay okay do you no, still fuck. they they like watch my porn and shit it's they're like honey we don't look at your face it's fine i'm like that's not fine How does... that's some weird incest shit oh it helps our sex life it just means you do a good job honey yes. like your parents watched your porn to yes yeah for their own sexual pleasure and my mom felt so bad about it that she was oh. like honey I need to tell you something. But she didn't start off with that. First, she starts off about, like, how my whole family is, like, doesn't actually like me. And then it's like, oh, yeah, I remember that pool party. You were just showing off in front of all those middle-aged men that are also related to you while you're just doing gymnastics in the backyard with your cousin. Because I'm like, I love kids. I'll just be like, fuck yeah, let's, let's do a somersault. Let's do some cartwheels. Like, let's play Batman. Whatever the fuck. Down for it. Yeah, exactly. And so, like, with that, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fucking be nice to those family members anymore and then she like leads more into it and then it's like oh you know actually we have your logins and everything for like your reddit password like your google mm. drive like everything so my brother you know a few years prior like he started going to school for like cybersecurity classes okay. and he's like oh my god mom dad i want good boy points i know a way you can keep an eye on lily you can install a keylogger on her computer <laughs> and so yeah it's like awful fucking invasion of privacy and all that and it's like also do you still speak with them after no, having that conversation i haven't spoke with them uh i briefly spoke to them a little while after that this mm -hmm. was about six years ago now okay um and i was like hey like i just wanted to let you know that made me feel really uncomfortable like you know just trying to get some kind of handle on like hey is there any way we can have some kind of closure on yeah. this anything and it was like what are you talking about honey are you sleeping okay are you on drugs and it's like so they try to turn around and on you yeah and it's like dude you've taken me to so many psychiatrists and shit yeah. and everything being like 
this bitch is crazy. It's not our parenting. She's just crazy. And it's like depression and anxiety. I'm not having delusions. Yeah. And well, that's unfortunate a, that, you yeah. know what I mean? It's one of those things, again, we don't me, know how. Made me a hell of a lot more independent. The cards <laughs> that we're dealt with, but it's how yeah. you deal with things. You know yes. what I mean? So it's like, you know, I, it's, it's very interesting topic of it. It's because it's not something ideal. You know what I mean? And yeah. obviously our job isn't something that's ideal, but it's yes. also something in the sense of where it's like you want to feel comfortable and like safe in a space that you're still expressing yourself yeah. and having the backing of your family but not that kind of backing of your yes. family so yeah. i feel like you know there's definitely boundaries and stuff like that and i feel like people don't understand like boundaries that also help in with family members and like because yeah. it's to protecting yourself and your own mental health where it's like maybe you know those traits could trickle on to you where you're like you know let me just step aside and just do me yeah no it's like for sure like how i think of it is like okay do i want the rest of my life to be like to be like them, like taking it out on other people, like being shitty. And it's like, you know, do I want to hate the world? Do I want to mm. just hate the world and then fucking die? No. And it's like, I want to be There's nice. So much like, more, I want yeah. to be like I want to be the best person I can be and it's like fuck them like <laughs> well you definitely can do all those things I think it's yeah. just you know putting your you know your foot forward into what yeah. you want and what, le- what that looks like for you you mm-hmm. know I don't think anything is predestined Therapy, for us meds, like since I got on antidepressants I'm so fucking calm I yeah. used to be like just in the car like oh, I don't know what's gonna happen when I get there but I have to think of every single possible conversation ever and then yeah. prepare myself well good for like, you I'm proud that you know you're yeah. taking the steps of like taking the mental awareness taking yeah. the awareness and the steps it's of getting you medication really if that's what you needed to do and and especially in this industry because it's for sure because it could go yeah with a story like that you know it could go really left it could go really right or it could be centered you know what i mean and so i think it's one of those things that people already automatically assume we have all these issues which some people may we all have issues not everybody's perfect but it's how we deal with it yeah and we how we like continue going on and making ourselves a better person to be the person that we really truly want to be and show up yeah so i commend you for you know taking a stand and speaking about that i appreciate you being honest yeah you know that it's not everybody got their little fucked up shit and it's like it's about like what you do with it yeah very true and it's like do i want to take it out on other people and it's like oh am i negatively affecting people fuck that's not okay man maybe i should do something about that read a self-help book like go to therapy like you know just do something like google what the fuck do i do with myself i'm doing these things for sure yeah well with all this crazy lifestyle that you decided to jump into doing you know everything from doing porn now and like you know just being definitely out there you seem like you're just kind of like take me as i am yeah how is dating life is dating life hard are you dating i mean it's been good uh my boyfriend's also in the industry okay uh he's a primal fetish michael masters um people like to talk shit about him on twitter that oh he's mean or whatever and like at the same time i've been on set behind the camera dealing with some of these girls and it's like this is a job You're is that like his really persona good. to be mean or is no. the, where does he get the mean it's, like just from people working with him yes okay. it's because it's a it's a very dialogue heavy day mm-hmm. it's like not a ton of sex but it's a lot of acting and everything and okay. some of these girls they show up on set and they're like oh he he it's fun time like and it's like not taking it serious please and just, like, please just focus i'm like and at this point in time like before having to deal with that i'm like I could be a director i could do things mm-hmm. and then like after seeing some of those girls i'm like i don't know how you have the patience i slap a bitch oh my god <laughs> like <laughs> like girl you realize you're getting 2400 not getting anything in the ass and it's a fucking one guy fucking you i'm like and then these same people are like oh like you think it'd be cool if like uh he he paid for like me for like an uber to go out to a bar i'm like you have a 9 a.m call time tomorrow sweetie police uh what do you mean like before they even go to set they were asking for him to pay for an uber yes i don't understand so that. it was he usually he what? usually books like multi-day shoots because it's in okay. vegas and okay, it's like okay. okay i'm having the girl fly out most of the time god it. it's like he has a model house and everything so it don't have to be like up in our space so okay i've had girls like steal makeup brushes mm. and shit and it's like petty. I, want, I want people petty, in my space petty, thefts, petty girls yeah and i'm like just be chill like everybody I don't know is living their life but so dating him's been fucking fantastic it's like he's like go is this out. something very new is it something you've for been about, in for a while um or about like a year and a half or so okay, so and pretty much like, your whole career yeah like an adult yeah so he's all for it there's no like oh, he loves it he's okay. like go be a little whore and okay. I, like, I want you to fuck everybody i want you to do your best you're be the top porn star i'm like damn right i am daddy fuck yeah okay <laughs> it's I like love that. it's so supportive and i'm like i tell him i'm like 
please give me positive reinforcement every little thing I do because I did not get that growing up. And he's like, you did a really great job today. I'm like, that's Thank amazing. You. I mean, especially <laughs> asking for what you need yeah, yeah. and actually having a partner deliver those things, I think is very important yeah. because it's like some people, we don't even know what we want, yeah. you know? And so it's like, especially in something, again, like we talk about this business, it's a lot of like heavy emotion sometimes, even though we have fun doing it, mm -hmm. the aftermath of certain things that people put on us oh, yeah. is sometimes that you're going to be like, hey, like that's your thing, not my thing. I got so, like, the shame. sometimes. So and it's like, it's good to yeah. have that like reset to be yes. like, you know what? you're fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you went out there, you looked hot, you did all these things. Like that's just a good feeling to come home to, to be like, yeah. you know what? I got dick, I got pussy, I got it all. Yeah. And I'm still gonna fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, like plus someone that understands too, it's like sometimes I'm overwhelmed by the world mm -hmm. and I'm just like, I put so much energy into the set and just like the, the, the sex, the talking to people, the being like on time, like on top of all my shit. And then it's like, I'll go home and be like either one, leave me alone because everything is too much right now and he's like just tell me just like just let me know and i'll let you do your thing and i'm like thank you so much for not being like offended it's like he's older too he's mm -hmm. like you know, he turns 50 in november okay. so it's like he's a little more chill okay. and it's like which i appreciate so it works for you yeah all right yeah do you guys do threesomes do you shoot together do i you mean we definitely shoot together um you know i met him like he hired me for a shoot and uh and you just never left I mean, I left and went back well, home him. and stuff, but, but like, him. yeah, yeah, basically. Okay. And it's like, I didn't immediately think of dating him. I was just like, oh, this guy's fucking cool. Like, was he the gives dick, a shit. Was the dick made it more, like, promising, or was it the person behind the dick? Definitely the person. Okay. And it's like, I mean, the dick is good. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. It's but sometimes not like, we get stuck because dick is so good that we, like, yes. see the, we don't get to see all the no. other things, where it's, no. like, a yeah. bonus, where it's, like, one has to open the door and crack it, you know, yes. <laughs> which one did? No, it was, like, his passion for working, and it's, like, I think that's why, like, some Yours. think that like he's aggressive mm. because he's like all right we're gonna get this shot and we're gonna do this thing i'm like all right oh, okay you stand over there and then it's like and like i do that shit with my own content i get excited i'm like yeah. i i visualize what's gonna happen and like the end product and I'm, like i'm fucking here for it like if i was a dude i'd probably seem intimidating when i'm working yeah like behind the camera okay it's like in front of the camera i'm just like doo, doo, doo. but like behind it i'm like let's let these go over here this, this shit i'm like bit of a control okay. freak okay yes you just like the way you, I, the I way like that you like them to be good i okay. will absolutely you know collaborate because it's like we actually weirdly get along well together if we're both like on set and mm -hmm. it's like he'll be director and i'll be like fucking around with lighting or something or just like helping out and it's like i love that he listens mm. and he's not just like oh shush you yeah. almost 26 year old little girl I'm 50 and I know everything. He's yeah. like, oh, you know what? You're right. And like ever since like I, I started dating him and it's like all my solo videos, perfect fucking lighting. It's like I taught myself, I, I taught myself premiere, like audition, like, you know, okay. take the, take the little background noise out. Like I would just Google everything and try to make it as best as I could. Nice. So me like showing him more and more things and be like, she kind of sucks. Like, like, <laughs> like do better. Kinda, yeah, like you can do better. But man. I think it's good. It's it's and constructive criticism. Yes. You know what I mean. So I think it's like if somebody were yeah. to like take it personal, then you'd be like, look, it's not on you, but this is how I want me to do things. So I think mm -hmm. it's cool to like again the communication and yeah. just like being really fluid and just being like, look. Then he eat, teaches you know? me angles. Like yeah. I'm good with lighting, but like he's on it with the angles. So it's like I love this like. I've never worked with someone and not just like exploded on them. It sounds like, like it's working. <laughs> it sounds like it's working great. Yeah. What would you say is your biggest pet peeve? Hmm. I would say people just willfully not wanting to give a fuck about themselves. Okay. Or like how they treat other people. Okay. I'm like, I can't stand that. I'm like, nobody's just fucked. Nobody's just like this broken piece of shit that's just going to treat people like trash. Like you can do something about it. Okay. Like, please. Please, no one can make you, but please. <laughs> Got it. Who would you say was your first celebrity crush? Hmm. I don't know. Who um, were you, like, you know, secretly lusting after? Maybe, like, I mean, a little, definitely, little like, diddle sometimes here and there. It could be female, male. Hmm. Like, definitely as a kid, it, it was, like, more, like, female because it was, like, ooh, they're pretty. Um, God, I'm, like, trying to think. Uh... I don't know. Okay. Um, go there's back like Mary Kate and Ashley, um, Angelina Jolie. Would you do um, both the twins at one time? I mean, or would you want to take them separate? I mean, 
it, it was more of a wholesome crush. I mean, <laughs> but now that the wholesome crush is over, now that that's over, I would say who's that guy in the the Witcher that like he he like builds PCs and shit, but he's stupid fucking handsome. He's the dude that does Superman or used to. Um, Henry I'm like, yes, that fucking I'm guy. Like, that's way over my that head. That fucking I'm like, guy. Fucking and I'm like, I, I built my first, first PC when I was like 15, and I'm like, oh, he's not just pretty face. He can put together Legos mm. too, which is, I mean, it's not that hard, but still. <laughs> hey, whatever works. Whatever yeah. works. If you could instantly attain one skill, what would Ooh. it be? It could be anything. Hmm. I don't know. It could be anything from maybe listening to somebody's inner thoughts, flying, teleporting. Oh, so not even it can like be, legit. Yeah, it can like be a, anything you want. Ooh. This is our fantasy and we're living in it. Hmm. I would say warp to wherever I want to go. Okay. Because fuck transportation, fuck traffic. And it's like, I just want to show up. Yeah. You just want to like be done. wiggle your nose and be like, yeah. hey, I'm there. Because like hearing people's thoughts, I feel like that's not always their genuine self. And I'm like, sometimes they're just in a bad True. mood and they're like, Fuck that bitch but the, then they're like you know what fuck her but i really love her yeah exactly i was just having a bad day and i yeah. didn't know why i was thinking about these things and but. if i if i was aware of that i'd be like it's kind of mean man mm. like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna be nice <laughs> now like i'll just i'll just not be your friend okay <laughs> what makes you smile Ooh, making other people happy absolutely but at the same time i don't know just being outside in the outdoors i grew up in the country like okay. in a very like rural area like we had 20 acres on the river and all of that so it's just like wind blowing mm. like in the grass like being one with nature yeah okay. definitely makes me smile hmm craziest fan or celebrity interaction have you had any hmm not particularly oh i would say i had this uber driver but this was back when i was on reddit okay and like he drove me to the mall because i was like okay i have a flight back but it's not for a few hours like, i'll just fuck around Kill in some the time mall. yeah yeah and so i'm like sitting there just chilling like on my phone and then it's like uh he, he like comes over like it like he shows up at the mall in this little seating area after he picked you or after he dropped you off okay. yeah and then he's like "Ooh, i know who you are you want to make oh. out like you want fuck i'm like no that was sir creepy. i'm glad you're coming to me in a public area and not your car but like what the fuck but yeah that was the the creepiest weirdest interaction i've ever had definitely they're a little creepy definitely yeah. a little creepy i'm glad nothing worse has happened all right yeah <laughs> what is the best advice that you've ever gotten hmm keep trying I don't know. Okay. Because, like, people would tell me, just be yourself. But it's, like, if you're any sort of, like, neurodivergent, it's, like, what the fuck does that mean? Society doesn't like my base level of self. Like. <laughs> mm. Okay. But you and make them like it. That's the thing. Yes. It's, like, fuck what society says. You make your own way, baby girl. I mean, yes. And it's in an acceptable thing that society likes. Mm. That it's, like. But whose validation to, do you need? That's the thing is. It's the not about the validation. It's make it about making other people happy and comfortable. And if I'm not making people comfortable with like. But if that takes away yeah. from making yourself happy and comfortable, then what really society that you want to be in? Uh, well, the life of an autistic person is a little difficult. It's, okay. Yeah. But I feel like, again, we make it what we want it to do. I feel like, again, there's it's probably true. something that you're hyper aware of certain things. Yeah. And maybe being like, you know, I feel like you're also kind of. I wouldn't say hyper emotional, but you mm -hmm. can see like that you're very like em empath where it's like yes. you feel when you feel things, you feel them. Yes. So it's like I think that maybe you're a little bit too sensitive on how other people think where for me, it's like, yes, I just have to make myself happy and be mm -hmm. aware. And I can obviously like you don't you want to do it within the realm of like not hurting someone's feelings and being true to yourself. Yeah. But I mean, at the at same the end time, of the day, someone's it's fucking like, me over. I can just be. Yeah, this. that's what I say. It's like, so if you make yourself happy, then fuck everybody else. You know what I mean? You gotta make yourself happy first. I think I'm a big yeah. believer in loving yourself first. The no, same thing I agree is how they that. make the whole thing. It was like, you know, if a plane's going down, you put the yeah. oxygen mask on yourself first, and then you save somebody else. But you can't save anybody if you don't save yourself first. Yeah, no, I completely agree with that. It's like, it, as someone that's like diagnosed like on the spectrum, it's mm -hmm. like, you have to be okay first. And then it's like, then you have the energy to mask. And okay. like masking is like, all this people interaction that it's like everybody just does like flawlessly and it's not like 
oh wait like i say this thing and that it, it, it's like driving like a manual car versus like automatic okay it's like you do it enough it becomes kind what of your routine or whatever it is yeah yeah exactly so being that you know diagnosed being on the, you know borderline on the spectrum yeah how have that has that been a challenge in, in integrating into this adult you know world has it been sure. challenging or is it you know because i did so much work with my own self mm -hmm. and like with my personal work yeah and it's like interacting with other people and trying to figure that out desperately like that was my number one goal that it's like i am going to be able to integrate with society and like people will like me like i will be able to communicate efficiently mm. and not just like cry because everybody takes everything i say the wrong so, way yeah and and it's like i mean like even you know like at home like with my boyfriend like he's had to get used to like some of the things because if i'm around someone 24 7 the little things leak through like one mm. of one of it is like you say something but you say it very flat like okay. in, in like a tone that like they might think that it's like oh this was like aggressive or, or sarcastic or whatever, yeah and it's like i just wasn't making myself do the thing okay and so it's it's odd it's like i've picked up little things like through throughout growing up that it's like okay i would see somebody like make like oh that must really hurt and it's like i should do that i should do that with someone oh, okay. so it makes like it seem the like I the emotion of something expressing okay, the emotion. express of the emotion okay yeah because it's like i feel it but i feel it like in here and it doesn't come out okay and then it makes it seem like i'm this weird that. robot okay yeah all right I can understand that. That's de I mean, I definitely think it's a learning thing, especially from yeah. what you said your background is too, is maybe not having as much emotion shown to you and other than derogatory or like yes. mean ways. Yes. You don't know how to do the compassion side yes. of like seeing that, whatever. No, absolutely. I, that's interesting. I feel like a lot of more people should speak on that because I feel like it's a topic that we people don't really like to kind of shy away because they don't know how to deal with it. But I think that yeah. the more awareness that we bring upon it and mm -hmm. like, you know, it's just, I mean, you're a normal, regular person. You just don't know how to express emotions on certain things, but you've learned it. You took yeah. a really big, you know, thing, like you said, even the personal work, taking the time yeah. to really be like, I know that I don't maybe not have these things, but I know I can if I do these things to make that happen and make an effort to happen. Yeah. And it's like, I've been really just like sad and miserable like throughout my life. And it's like, I mean, I'm not anymore, but yeah. at the same time, it's like, if I can do anything to help people, like in a way that isn't just like, I'm just giving all of myself to everybody, but like, yeah. you know, in a healthy way. And I can just not people be, pleasing, but making I, the sense of like making yeah, it aware. Making people comfortable, mm -hmm. like making people be, be like, you know what? I had a good day today. Yeah. And it kind of thing. And it's like, I wanted to learn how to do that. And it's like, I want to make people feel comfortable because people never gave a fuck to make me feel comfortable. I think that's so, really commendable to do to like, you know, put yeah. yourself out there, you know, and at least you need to tell your diagnosis to talk yeah. about your struggles. I think that people forget that, you know, when you have such a, you know, a fame or these things that yeah. happen or that there wasn't struggles where it's like there is, you know, you got to start from the bottom to go, you know, get anywhere. Absolutely. So it's like, I think it's, you know, really commendable to yourself to like speak about, you know, your accomplishments of where you, how far you've come and like kind of bring it into this where I think that, and it's crazy as it sounds, but like the sex industry kind of like brought those things out even more because maybe that's yeah. how you identified maybe like how your inner self was yeah. of like, and that was the basis. But then you like kind of work around the, all the other things to make it. Also you. like seeing other people in the industry that it's just like, oh yeah, like you're, you're autistic. Like I, I, I see it. Like, yeah. And, um, being I don't accepted. Know. Yeah. Being socially accepted, accepted and just be like, man, don't you hate when people take things the wrong way or like just like stupid ass shit or like, oh, like remember like when you first found out about it and you thought you were just like, wow, I guess I'm just like what, like disabled or something like you feel this sadness because, you know, it's like it's something that you can't change. You can only kind of like have the coping mechanisms for it. At the same time, too, the, too though, it's really cool because you have intense special interests mm -hmm. and then you learn all the things it's like adhd kind of has like the same kind yeah. of thing it's usually like a comorbid sort of disorder um and uh my first special interest was horses i had textbooks it's like horse breeding horse genetics horse training it's like horse every fucking possible thing i would just like read through textbooks and shit and uh and I would do the same thing with like the video editing and all that. I'm just like, oh, I want to make it good. Yeah. It's so exciting. It's so fulfilling. Yeah. And so at the same time, there's pros and cons. And, okay. you know, pros and cons with everything in life. Facts. Yeah. So with all that being said, which personal accomplishment are you most proud of? Hmm. I would say even just being able to be here today and being able to be relaxed, being able to just talk, mm. you know, express myself in a way that I think is accurate to myself 
And uh, I used to cry myself asleep at night and just be like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna be like the female version of the dude that just eats chips and plays World of Warcraft in his mom's basement. And it's like, oh, uh, fuck all these normies um, because they're having such an easier time in life. And instead of that, I was like, you know what, what can I do mm -hmm. to make it so that's not my reality? Yes. And so well, I'm... <clears throat> yeah <laughs> i appreciate you for coming like, i appreciate your honesty and being open and talking yeah. about things we appreciate your private talk i think that the more again like about the awareness and keeping you know all Thank those you. things where it's like you're just a person we put our pants yeah. on every single day like each other yeah. for me it's about respect it's how you you know show up as you know who you are in the world and yeah. how those things but it's like again you sh show your true identity with just being yourself and letting go and just letting it ride yeah let it ride let it ride if you could change jobs would you no okay like absolutely not <laughs> like, like i'm living hard it no hard no, no. okay <laughs> was there anything else you ever wanted to be i mean not that you grow up and be like hey i want to be like a well, content when I was creator a kid, but i was like oh like i could be like a veterinarian and then i discovered the oh yeah things. veterinarian you know you just put down dogs and cats people can't afford to do medical treatment on there's just like uh -huh. the pros and cons things of everything yeah right? i'm <laughs> like i couldn't handle that i don't think <laughs> Have you ever taken a souvenir home from a sexual escapade? I have not. Okay. I'm like... Has anybody taken anything of yours that you maybe thought was missing when you're like, wait, what? I think I had an ex take panties one time. Okay. But, yeah. You're like, those, those, I charge for those. Give those back. Miss I mean, Panty Salesman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your stock, girl. Do you or have you looked through a partner's phone? Have I? I have briefly, okay, but like also kind of just in a way that's like, Ooh, let's do a little scroll, okay, and it's like, but at the same time, it would be like they have access to my phone too, okay. so it's like, open if we have this mutual trust, but like, I've literally done that maybe like two times in my life, okay. I'm like, I, I think because my parents like just put pride into my privacy so fucking much. That it's like I don't want to do that to somebody to else. People, yeah. It's like I don't want to set that precedence that it's like that's okay. I'm so, that. one subscription that you cannot live without. Subscription. It can be anything from Crunchyroll, Netflix. What's Crunchyroll? It's anime. Oh, okay. It's like it's a, it's a subscription based thing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, kind of like Netflix, but it's like okay, and kind of like Funimation, but it has a lot more anime. It has the stuff that's like been just released in Japan, so it's like is it it's only like subtitles, PG things, or is it sexual? Oh, you can. It's everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah. I think most of the time they censor out like nips and stuff, but okay. it's like because usually they'll be like, oh, this is only on DVD. Buy our DVD. Mm. So who even buys DVDs anymore? <laughs> People who want to see digital. hentai titties. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I have quite the DVD collection. <laughs> what is your favorite way to receive affection? Ooh, huh. I think maybe just somebody like, hmm. I love when people put their weight on me. Like just like a weighted blanket. Okay. And I'm like, okay. I love me some of that. Some like, some I touch. I feel like for me, I think it's like words of affirmation first. Yes. And then I think it's yes. physical touch. Yes. I, I feel like I, I'm like mm -hmm. I feel like I, I can read you to the thing where it's like especially yes. with the things of like you said the things that we didn't receive when we were kids or yeah. whatever where it's like you kind of need that validation of the words from your partner yeah. friends base or whatever that is mm -hmm. how do you give affection what is um, your way of, of showing affection to your partner I mean like definitely telling them um so words of affirmation to show them like you know I'm very generous with my money I mean like he has money too at the same time but he's she like, like to spoil so you're more yeah. of like acts of service yeah and like gift giving mm -hmm. okay hmm let's see what social media platform do you use the most um probably Twitter at this point okay describe your first sexual experience ooh okay so I saw the spark light back in her eyes <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a good one all right, so I was a very horny preteen, literally since age 10 and watching porn, I'm like, I need to prepare myself for sex. Like, I need, I need to make sure, like, you know, I'm gonna be good at it, like, I'm gonna do You're good. like taking notes and you're like, yeah, I'm shake like, it, I'm gonna, insert it, uh -huh, do it, yeah. lick it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch out my orifices, make sure you can cook, accommodate oh, we're stretching. Okay. a penis. How and are you stretching? my fingers okay. like a, like little pens or something or pens? Like, yeah like anything like a okay. like a fucking marker like a like a brush 
I was very pervy and I was like immediately I was like okay I'm gonna prepare myself for sex uh, I'm gonna stretch myself out and all that I'm gonna accommodate a dick and so like I I was at middle I was in middle school at the time like I skipped a grade I skipped second grade and so I was like eh, like at, at 10 I was just very chubby very awkward it's like no one was like ew I'm not gonna do anything with that girl what the fuck 11 You're fucking 10 i kind of had be. a little bit of a glow up <laughs> i started my period at 11 um you know it's like i'm like yeah like i'm losing a little weight like you know i'm like i'm, I'm kind of pretty like okay and um that i had my first ever boyfriend but he was a good christian boy and he was like we can't do anything that is a sin yeah at and 11 you should not <laughs> <laughs> i was oddly self-aware like okay. i would not recommend every 11 year old to go out yeah. and have sex. This is your story. We're living weird. in it. We're living like, in it. <laughs> <laughs> We're rocking with this. Yeah. And so I'm like, I had enough of these dudes being like way too, like dudes my age being like, oh, like, oh, I don't too know. Too timid. Like too timid. And it just frustrated the shit out of me. I'm like, okay. I need well, a you man. Know what? <laughs> yeah. And so I had a laptop. I had internet access. So my great idea at 12 was like, oh, I'm going to make God. an okay Cupid profile. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm 18, but I'm going to tell the people, like, I'm 14, because 14 sounded mature. Oh, okay. And so, I mean, like, <laughs> so I found mature. this, like, 19-year-old kid, and, like, and I snuck out, like, it, I walked down our, like, mile-long fucking driveway, uh, like, in the dark, and, um, and it's like, yeah, he met me in his car and everything. I mean, it was a nice time. He, it, It's like, looking back, I'm like, maybe that wasn't great for, like, a 19-year-old to be like, oh, yeah, 14-year-old, so mature, and, like, all that shit. But at the same <laughs> but time... But you weren't even 14. You were 12. I was 12. I was 12. <laughs> I had boobies, like, you know. So it appeared, it appeared to be that way. Okay. Yeah. So it was and basically, it, like kind of a one night stand but not yeah. because it was like it's like the juvenile part of it it's like an aol like i don't know how yeah. old you are how old are you uh 25 i turned 26 okay, so you definitely weeks. don't know what the aol is i mean i know what aol is <laughs> like, <laughs> like aol like i AIM, definitely like, aged myself with the guests that i have here though i made the mistake of being like oh what posters do you have you're like posters who the fuck has that i'm like oh fine your posters. wallpaper <laughs> on your fucking phone i don't really know but okay so <laughs> yeah so it, it's like it was a good time he had an oddly big dick i didn't think it was big at the time because i only watched porn did he have a condom i don't think he did and i kind of panicked for a while after <laughs> like am i gonna get pregnant he didn't come in my pussy but am i gonna get pregnant but and how I, do you know at that age because you know pre comes a thing i mean true yeah you know i mean yeah. like i was just There's like variables <laughs> yeah I all was right lucky. so <laughs> you you fucked the stranger the strange 19 yes. year old in the in the front of your driveway that was a mile long yes did you do this basically like the walk of shame and going backwards where you like happy, i mean were you i was skipping? so happy were yeah. you skipping like yeah, yeah did I you was, get off did you like it yes. did you think it was awkward i mean it was like a little painful. But how do you know how to come at that time? Did, hmm? Like, because at that time, like, you know. Oh, you, I mean, I was already you, masturbating. Okay, well, then that makes sense. Because it's like when yeah. you have sex, you know, at first, you know, the first time yeah. I think it's like awkward. You're like, oh, is this is this right? Does this yeah. feel good? Does this like whatever? Because yeah. then you get overstimulated and then you don't know. And then yeah. things are happening down there. And yeah. then he abrupts. And then he no, just no, for the sure. Thing. And okay. it's like we, can only, we so only you, had sex for maybe like a minute okay. or something because I'm like, oh, it's kind of we don't know. want no We don't want no one <laughs> minute, man. <laughs> no, I mean, like it's, I sucked his dick afterwards because I was like. Well, it's the right would, thing to do. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. It's yeah. very polite, you know. It's good. Clean it he, off. He yeah. he drove all the way over there, you know. It's it's a good thing to do. Um, and after that, I was like, oh man, like what if I get caught? Like I, I probably shouldn't do this again for a while. And I did again at did thirteen. He, did he hit you up anymore, or did it just? Like, I think he just, did, but like we could never like figure out scheduling the, okay. because like I would only know that my parents would be sleeping like <laughs> at like a certain like. Because, like, sometimes it'd be, I like, I feel, like, awake, so wrong like, listening to this 12-year-old story. It's a little fucked up. <laughs> but, yeah, we know. <laughs> I feel, like, mentally, weirdly, I was in the same place as I am now. I'm, like, these dudes don't give a fuck about me getting that dick, though. Hey, and get it. <laughs> I mean, like, it, at the same time, it's, like, a good escapism. Like, I feel like always throughout my life, like, sex has been, like, oh, yeah, like, good feels. Okay. And it's, like, you know, my siblings, like, my brother would, like... He, uh, he was into, like, pain pills and okay. stuff. And so he kind of took the drug route. I took the, like, sex, sex route. Sex. Like, okay. Yeah. And okay. it's, like, Do you feel like you have a sex addiction? Um, I don't think so because I haven't put myself in, like, fucked up situations. Okay. So but does that I, really I mean that's the, that that's... I feel like that's the cutoff. I don't know. 
I feel like for me, I don't know if it's like the dangerous situation. I think it's like the like the plethora of of like uh-huh. the many amount of times that we're like you need it. Like it's like a fiending type of situation. It's yeah. like you're doing it so much that maybe it's like you can't function on other things or you're doing like those things. I don't necessarily yeah. think bad situations when I think, think so, of that. Because okay. it's like the more I shoot, yes, the more that I want sex. Because yeah. I'm like sex, sex. Oh my God, I want more sex. Yeah. And But if I'm like just chilling and I'm like, I need to take a break and I'm like, I don't have sex for a while. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to have sex. Like, okay. Yeah. I just like weirdly like if I like shut that part down and I'm like feeling like just overstimulated overall and like I just want to curl into a ball okay. and just do nothing. So you know when to cut it off and when to not to like yeah. over put or to yeah. push it more. Yeah. Okay. I like. I mean, that's definitely. A, I mean, not saying it's great, but it was yeah. your story, whatever the first experience. But yeah. I think that it's definitely telling of like the naiveness of like how we integrate ourselves into sex, the first sexual experiences, right? Yeah. So it's like, oh, like this is like. I hopped on it and it happened in one minute and then like yeah. I knew I thought I was supposed to suck it so I did it and then we just here now we here we're here and I yeah. went back to the driveway and I'm skipping all the way down the driveway. Yeah, yeah. So we do it again. Hey, I love it. I'm here for it. I rock with it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Spit or swallow? Swallow. Unless it's like like yellow, it has blood in it, like some weird ass shit, and then I'm like Maybe that's not healthy for me to ingest. Okay, well, that being said, craziest bodily fluid that has ever been on you? On me? Yeah. I mean, I do anal scenes, so poop. Okay, like, so, so poop's been on you. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, like, sometimes you'll do a, like, a multi-girl thing, and it's like, there's some anal involved, and like, that girl didn't clean out good. Shit happens. Shit happens. Shit happens. Yep. Sexting or FaceTime? FaceTime. Yes. Ever fucked in a parent's or friend's bed? In a friend's bed, yes. Parents' bed, no. Okay. Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, time to my favorite part, Truth with Texas. We're going to get a little bit more <laughs> spicier, okay. a little bit more intimate. We're going to do kinky, spicy, naughty, and romantic. Are you ready? I'm so fucking ready. Let's do it. All right. Let's do kinky because I feel like okay. you're a kinky girl. Yes. Do you have any fetishes? Yes. What are um, your fetishes? I would say I really like feet. Uh, I really like... Uh, Love feet. Theater it's like thing. I didn't know how much I liked feet until I was in porn and it's like I had the first dude like suck my toes mm. and then it's like okay it feels really good on me and then like doing it on other people I'm like I just love feet what the fuck it's like step on my like, face put oh, your toes man. in my mouth slap me with your foot put your foot up my ass like <laughs> crazy shit okay and love it. um I love how people smell like sweaty people as long as, as long as they're not like eating McDonald's 24 seven. Then I'm like, dude, you smell like an old McDonald's fryer. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but besides that, yeah, sweaty people. Okay. Um, I'd say, and it's like, what, what, what is a, a fetish? I guess just a preference. Like, I don't know. I like really big muscular men. Okay. Like though I kind of like every kind of man. Okay. Same thing with women. Like I have very low standards looks wise um if you have a shit personality though i probably won't fuck you um probably but not off the table not <laughs> off the table you know but it's like i'd consider not and, <laughs> and um what else i really like pain like i'm definitely a masochist mm. but it's like hmm certain pain. like spanking pain or like, I like, like spanking like, i like um, choking i like pressure okay. i like i definitely like electrocution okay. and i'm like that's different. i've been like playing more into that like they have like these little on, bullshit pink tasers on amazon i love that shit it feels like a hard where do, bite where do they where do you put this taser here here like he, like so, anywhere oh, okay, okay okay and like it feels like a hard bite but it doesn't leave the marks, the marks? as a bite would okay, okay like sometimes you'll have little so it's like burn the sting marks. of like the the yeah. jolt of the the initial yeah. shock but not the like yeah and okay, i'm like okay, i do okay. scenes all the time i can't have someone just like okay Okay, okay. Yeah. I never thought about that, but that's that's clever. It's yeah. Very, you know, it's, yeah. Again, it's giving you what you want without uh-huh. leaving the mark so you can keep doing work. No, it's you, like it's you a put good or anything brush, on yourself. I, I feel like it's like a, a healthy way to just like, I don't know, like deal with shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, I used to self-harm when I was a kid. And okay. it's like, I mean, I don't anymore, obviously. But like it. I feel like it's almost like a healthier way to like have that like endorphin rush of like the pain that it's like, okay, okay, like limit yourself to like, okay, like just do it during sex, but don't make it like you're, you're getting punished. Like, like, oh, I hate myself. So I'm gonna have someone beat me up. Like, I think that's a little fucked up. Uh, But it's like, even if you're happy, good vibes and shit. And it's like, let's go intense. I want that intensity. Okay. And so then I get that rush from that. You're looking for that rush, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the most number of times you've had sex in one day? I don't 
maybe like five times. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been too kinky for a partner? Absolutely. What yeah. was the kink that was like, girl, I, I just can't? No, just like choking, the slapping, okay. like pulling hair. And or they're just like, like, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite time of day to have sex? Um, definitely afternoon or evening. Sometimes in the morning, I'm just like, this is going to take me forever to come. Like, you can, we can do it. I'm just like, I, I just it's going to take me a while. <laughs> it's going to take me a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Honesty is key. I love it. Spicy questions. Worst hookup story. Hmm. You know, I don't think I really have any because it's like because you're a wild stallion and you're like hey it's not gonna be bad i'm gonna fucking make this great well that but also for like six years before porn it's like i was in a relationship and the dude was like you're not fucking other dudes mm. like kind of thing and so i'm like boring. i'll be good girl boring i only cheated three times in, in six years i think that's pretty good <laughs> did he ever find catch you cheating he never caught me but i like told him about it and he was like i knew it mm. and i'm like well dude, you told them you, after or during after okay. and i'm like well dude like you never want to have sex you make me feel like some like sex fiend for like wanting to have that connection and wanting to have sex and that I'm just like, means you're with the wrong partner i always yes. feel like that's maybe like when we feel like when things yes. happen and we look back it's I like think he was a solid we, guy like it just was not the right fit and the thing is like it's like that's very much true it's like it's you're everyone's a good person to, to a point right and yeah. it's like but some people just don't work out with each other i think sometimes we yeah. settle especially early on and it's because like, yeah. we think that we won't find this partner but it's like once we start exploring and learning ourselves we're like and then you find a partner that matches all the things yeah. you're like this well, is actually, so easy they're like, like this is like I, I thought i'd never find this but yeah there is what somebody for you that's why people were like when you're too much for someone you're just too much for that person yes but there's someone out there that will love you too much yeah you don't have to tame yourself no taming yeah mm, dirty talk do you like it yes can you give us an example of your dirty talk huh <laughs> Not on the spot. I'm like, <laughs> if Miss Texas's big fat ass was in front of your face and I was about to like sit on your face and, you know, do oh all God. the things, what would you tell me? I, I don't know. Like sit that fat ass on my face. I want to lick your sweaty asshole. Hey, it's like suffocate hey. me. I want to die by that ass. Yay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. See, look, you can do it on the spot. Have you ever stayed a theme. <laughs> in a relationship for sex? The no. sex was so good that you just had to stay a little longer. Unfortunately, not. Okay. Well, like, fortunately and unfortunately. But, yeah. Who are your top porn stars? Hmm. Do you have any? Like, top... That you maybe watched or that mm -hmm. you like, maybe you want to work with or that you have worked with that you really like to work with? I mean, definitely Adriana. It, it sucks about her back. Um, but I know she wants to get, like, back into it ex to an extent, like, with content and stuff. And I would love to do that. I met her okay. at uh, Exotica during, we had this, like, loyal fans dinner. And I was like... She's a great time. She's a sweet person. Yeah. Very nice. Her lips feel nice. Mm-hmm. Just saying. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I had her, like, grab my boobies. I grabbed her boobies. The whole... Yeah. It's like the introduction, but without the introduction. But, yeah. you know, you know, close yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty questions. Choked or spanked? Choked. Lube or spit? Lube. Handcuffs or blindfold? Handcuffs. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Yes. Can I hear what that sounds like? <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, coming. <laughs> you know what's really great is that she didn't even skip a beat to do that on, on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, like during it. VR shoots so it's like all right they're pretend eating your Come. pussy and like you're but you just, didn't even hesitate I loved it you're just like I can't do the other thing on the spot but I can do this <laughs> it sounded great I believed it <laughs> you, you know it made my pussy wet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mile high club are you a part of it not I'm too much of a weenie okay though I did have I was sitting in first class and like I had this dude like finger me oh. and like we were thinking Stranger? about going to the, yeah, it was just okay. some random dude. Okay. Okay. And like afterwards he was like, so drunk, he's talking about his kids and stuff. Oh, and I was shit. like, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe you should leave your wife. You know, your kids probably be happy. I'm like giving this guy life advice. Like after he's made me come, like <laughs> you should really leave your wife after your fingers were inside of me, sir. <laughs> I mean, he's like complaining about it. And I'm like, you know what? Like I had parents that fought and like, it wasn't great for me. It's like, you know, just be happy. I mean, if you can finger a stranger in first class, you should really, really reevaluate your relationship. I mean, you know? Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Oral sex, sloppy or clean? Sloppy. Hmm. Biggest turn off. What turns you off that just makes your pussy dry? You're just over it. Hmm. It's a hard one. <laughs> I'm like, maybe if someone's just like willfully stupid, 
Like they're trying to tell me like I'm wrong about some topic or something, and okay. it's like, and they're just a dumbass, like dumb shaming kind of like thing where it's like, oh, you don't know, honey, like eh, like that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. and I'm like, ew, like small. What is it called? I guess me like belittling, s- belittling. There you yeah. go. It's like there's patronizing. A, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we don't like any of that. Yeah, fuck that shit. Have you ever had sex on a toilet seat? I sucked a dick on a toilet seat, like me sitting on the toilet. Okay. Sucking a dick. Okay. And okay. I was like, my belly was hurting. It was it was at the end of a long night. And I'm like, well, like, we still want to keep going, but I'm like, the oh whole bathroom, man. <laughs> Do you like being spanked during sex? Yes. I love being slapped in the face more. Okay. Because, I, I mean, I can take a hell of a hit. I feel like I've, like, trained my face like a, like a fucking fighter. Okay. Because it's like, a lot of times, like, I'll have someone <laughs> fucking hit the shit out of me, but I don't bruise. How do it's you like, train your face for, for this action? <laughs> Just having it happen over and over well, okay, again. So multiple places that are being sp- slapped. Yeah. I okay. mean, like, with the face, though. Like, okay. the rest of my body, like, you just squeeze me a little hard. I'm like, oh, it's some bruises. Okay. Fuck my life. Like, <laughs> Last set of questions, romantic questions. Okay. Cut or uncut? Hmm. Like how that's romantic for me? <laughs> I'm like, I do like uncut, but at the same time, I feel like I'm always, like, hyper aware. Like, what, what if I, like, pull their foreskin too much? Mm. I'm like, it kind of kind of makes me a little anxious. The overthinker in you. Huh? The overthinker in you. Yeah. Just let it ride. Yeah. Making out or cuddling? Hmm. Both? One or the Possibly. other. Possibility. One be- or the other. Huh. I don't know. I think cuddling. Okay. Cuddling is quite nice. Dinner date or movie date? Dinner. Sex on the first date? Yes, always. Giving or receiving? Hmm. Giving. What are deal breakers for you in a relationship? You seem pretty open-minded about a lot of things. Yes. But what are deal breakers for you? Uh, if they're like, therapy, what's that? I'm, I'm not going to have somebody <laughs> just fucking talk to me, tell me what my problems are. That's some bullshit. And I'm like, Hi. So not aware of your issues. <laughs> yes. No self-awareness. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Giving or receiving? You already asked that. I know. I wanted to see if it was right. Look, yeah, you I was like, giving. Look, you said, for like, sure. You looked about it again. You're like, wait. Got it. Like you're fucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite place to be kissed? Hmm. I don't know, like, neck. Like, it's pretty damn good. Okay. Naked or lingerie? Hmm. I mean, like, lingerie can be kind of uncomfortable, but it's very cute. Okay. I don't know. Uh, naked. naked. All right. Yeah. Last question foreplay or sex and you have to pick one you can't pick both foreplay can be pretty fucking good i'm all you greedy bitch i know you want both i'm like (laughs) i'm like i do want both yes but it's like the the dude that i that i'm dating now michael it's like he was a massage therapist for like 12 years so it's like oh man he gives you happy endings he'll go foreplay all the fuck like for fucking hours and i'm like just coming nonstop. i'm like sexy yeah i like that for Mm -hmm. you i like that a lot for Mm -hmm. you all right love that is all the questions for truth with texas you pass with flying colors i love that i got to know you a little bit more intimately a little bit more naughty a little bit more kinky all the things was there anything that you'd like to ask miss texas before you leave i don't know i feel so unprepared i'm like i don't think you pick one question if you have it that's okay this is what this is for we get to know each other what was your time like 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 what led you here what led me where to my I would podcast? say like in the porn industry i would say how did i get in the yeah. industry or, uh, or like what did you did you want to always be in porn or did you just kind of fall into it like well i feel like in a sense and i always say it's like i don't think well at least for myself like yeah. i never aspired to be a porn star i never watched porn i never watched anything i was just a very highly sexual person yeah and i was just very in tune with my body like i was always like i was the girl like i was always i had a lot of guy friends so i'd be like hey show me your dicks because I want to see what they look like and I'll show you how to take a bra off with one hand. Like I was always yes. very curious. Yeah. Um, so for me, it wasn't something that my friends, when I got into the industry, um, they weren't like shocked, but they were kind of shocked because being from where I am, a really small town, people have never heard of that ever in oh, their yeah. life. But um, for me, it just kind of went with it. For me, it's again, with all that being said, is it's something that kind of fell into my lap. But for me, it was like um, at the time I was reality porn was very new. And so a company called Shane's World was doing a line called College Amateur Tour. So they went to different colleges to try to get girls to do scenes. Oh. And I was kind of the prodigy of that movie. Oh, and shit. so and then I, I never thought I would ever do a scene ever again. I kept in contact with the dude. Then he was like, hey, a company called Bang Bros wants to shoot you. And I was like, well, I'll shoot with you. So I went out to Florida and Miami. I shot with Bang Bros and I had an amazing time. 
they treated me so great. I loved I love everything Bay about Bay. it yeah. that I went back to Texas and I moved a week later and I just was like, hey, go big or go home. And Miss Texas never went home. And there Fuck we are yeah. today. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, a little, a little brief story of what that was. But yeah, <laughs> that's how it was. I mean, I had an amazing career. I loved every part of it. I've got to learn about myself and my sexuality as a woman and really coming yeah. into like what that meant, you know, from different partners to pleasing myself in different ways and different things that I never would have thought in a safe space. Um, so I had an amazing time and I don't have no regrets. Yeah, it gives you so no much regrets. more freedom too that it's like to explore like anything you want to and it's for like, sure when yeah. you're in tune with yourself and really tap into like what you want i think the, the yeah. possibilities are limitless um you just have to really stay true to what your moral compass is and where that leads yeah. you and to stay you into the light and not the dark but um i think that yeah i've had an amazing time so solid there you have it private talk what let us know where we can support you follow you and all those great things lily lou official you can find me on OnlyFans, twitter instagram uh, or you can just google lily lou l-i-l-y space l-o-u and the first result i'm like the day that that happened i'm like oh, i am somebody <laughs> hey there you go but yeah lily lou guys make sure that you follow her support her i had an amazing time i hope you guys loved the episode i know that i did until we meet again i loved it <laughs> yeah. This episode is sponsored by Bet Online.